was going to be able to work my way out of it. Okay. Uh, I just didn't know. I, I just didn't know what that uh, what what that was. That was Bernie Madoff, the Ponzi king. So, uh, speaking to New York Magazine, our next guest thinks our government in a similar position, needing a miracle to unwind the damage Ben Bernanke has done. Peter Schiff of Euro Pacific Capital and the author of the book Why an Economy Grows and Why It Crashes joins us via satellite. Peter, uh, you know, around the world, uh, central banks are raising rates and the U.S. is not doing that. Yeah, you know, first of all, in that very same interview, uh -huh. Bernie Madoff himself said that the U.S. government was running a Ponzi scheme. So when the person who has run the biggest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world accuses the U.S. government of doing the same thing, we ought to take him seriously. Well, the person all, who has no knows credibility what, is not someone uh, yeah, you should listen no, to, no, Peter. No, he, has credibility, <laughs> he has credibility on Ponzi schemes. He knows one when he sees one right, well, because you, he perpetuated <laughs> that, 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 That's the extent that's, of his credibility. That's, 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 kind of, let's, let, that's neither here nor there in this conversation no, no, but, it, but, it, but it's important. <laughs> but here's what's happening now uh, as far as the Fed and why we're, we're out of time. You know, you had uh, the, the, the president of the uh, uh, Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis on your network earlier today, and he basically absolved the Fed of responsibility for global inflation because he said foreign central banks made a choice not to let their currencies rise. That's right. They made that bad choice because we put a gun to their head and said you have a choice, exchange rate stability or inflation. And unfortunately, they chose inflation. They printed up a lot of money to buy up our dollars and our bonds. They're suffering the consequences right now of rising prices, but they decided that they don't like that choice. And now they're going to fight the inflation that they created, and that changes the game here in America. Because now we're going to have to suffer the full wrath of the inflation that we're creating because now you're going to see the dollar really start to fall. Look at it now. It's at record uh, low on the Swiss franc, multi-year lows against other currencies today. And that's going to cause prices in America to rise much faster in the months and years ahead than it had in the past. And now we're going to have to deal with a real problem because we're not going to get the rest of the world to monetize our debts. It's going to be the Federal Reserve that's doing all the monetizing. And that's going to put a lot more pressure on commodity prices here and consumer prices and interest rates on the long term. Peter, it's Karen. Let me just go off in a little bit different direction. Do you um, have any hope that any of some of the, the state governments we're seeing as they try to deal with their deficit issues will be helpful in the bigger picture of No, deficit. in fact, as interest rates rise, as inflation rises, that's going to put even more pressure on these states. And I think ultimately they're going to depend on the, on the Federal Reserve. I think they're going to depend on the Fed buying the debt just like they're buying Treasury debt or they're going to pretend on some kind of bailout. But, you know, all of this is going to implode simultaneously. It's the same thing. The federal government, the state governments, everybody borrowed too much money. It's impossible to pay it back. Right now, it's okay. Just like Bernie Madoff. It worked for a while, but eventually it doesn't work because you run out of fools, and we are running out of fools well, to not, sell though, this debt. But we're not running out of fools because the 10 year note well, is a few of them on fast down money, to 340 but, uh, at a time when, in fact, supposedly inflation is out there for the rest of the world. So, how can our 10 year, which is a barometer of inflation, be four bips lower it, than it was six weeks ago? And, and since when is the ECB tied to our economy? Because These guys remember, had an interest rate differential of 4% at one point. The they last, were the floating last, in their own interest the last, rate environment. The last Treasury bond auction in the 10-year, a record 71.5% of those 10-year bonds were bought by foreign central banks. So it's not uh, showing inflation because central banks are not you buying it as they want to. You said they don't have to buy them anymore. You said they're no, running for cover. You said it's going to They're going, going to. Yes, it is changing. They are waking up. They're not going to buy them. And when they stop, who's going to buy them? have been doing this for, for a year and a half, Peter, with you. I mean, you look I, at, you know. no, look, you're saying there's no silver just hit a new 30-year high today. Gold is moving higher. Look at commodity prices. The CRB is another two and a half year high. There's your evidence of inflation. Stop looking at these bonds that are being manipulated by central banks, not only foreign central banks, but our own central bank. Inflation is there. All you have to do is open up your eyes and see it. Hey, but Peter. the problem. The problem for America is as the world decides that they've had enough inflation and they raise their rates and they reduce their buying, we're going to see it much, much faster. So it's not just going to be high inflation. Right. It's going to be sky high inflation. Right. And the Fed, you know, the Fed said that, well, you know, they're not going to worry about oil prices until right. it seeps into the core. Who cares about the core? If prices are rising, what difference does it make what's happening Hold in the core? Peter. If Joe the cost question, of living Peter. is going up, Hold that's on. a problem. But Peter, no doubt you've been very consistent in your message here 
culture over the last two years and, and your concerns that you raised. The question that I have for you is, when you look at the equities market right now, clearly there's a consequence to what's going on. Are we closer to the moment of consequence that you're suggesting? Is that moment of consequence with us here in the next three, six months? Well, are you meaning equity prices falling? Yes. No, I still don't think there's a lot of downside in the stock market because there's much more downside in the dollar. And so if you're measuring stocks in terms of dollars, it's very difficult. Now, what's going to happen to stocks in terms of the price of gold? They're going to continue to fall. And eventually, stocks are going to collapse in terms of gold. I still think the Dow Jones is going to be worth one ounce of gold. That means that the Dow Jones, which is now around 12000 will be the same price uh, as, as an ounce of gold, and an ounce of gold is now only around fourteen hundred. Oh, so we closer there's a to big, that moment, though. But huh? how, clo how close are we to that moment? I think we're within within years. I don't know whether it's one year, two years, three years, but I think in the long term scheme of things, we are very close to a major collapse in the value of the dollar, uh, and you'll see that no, in, in, in the, hand grenades uh, here. Just I mean, me? Peter, with all due respect, you're making a bold market call, but you're saying you're not really giving us much of a time frame if you say one, two, three years. I mean, well, how, how but, are people supposed because, to interpret this? Because it's, no, it's impossible to know exactly when this is going to happen. I know that we're very close because the world is now grappling with the consequences of its decision to prop up the dollar, to prop up the U.S. US economy. We are causing stability and inflation all around the, problem, the world. though, Peter, in terms of just the average person out there who's been listening to you, been watching this show for months and months, is that we've heard the same tune from you repeatedly. So when you come on and say one to two to three years, no, but, we don't know what to do with this information. But what I'm saying is playing out before your eyes. Commodities are making record highs. The dollar keeps falling. So everything that I'm saying is happening. Have we had the complete collapse let? No, not not yet. We, remember, we have this phony economy that is based on the dollar being the reserve currency. It's based on our ability to print money and buy stuff that the rest of the world makes, to borrow what the world saves. But that is coming to an end because it is exerting huge consequences, huge costs on the rest of the world. They cannot right. afford to support us, and they are figuring that out. And the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath us. Okay. Is it going to be in six months or one year or two years, or is it going to be next week? I don't know, but your viewers can prepare for it now. So when it happens, you know, they, they, they're, they're protected. The people All that right. don't, don't do anything are going to get wiped out. Get the Peter, canned food, the bottled thank you. Uh, it's always, uh, it's right. always good yeah. to speak with you, Peter. Peter Schiff. Well, always well, fun and, to be on. Always fun to be on. But, you know, the, the other side of that, and I think certainly everyone at the desk would agree with me, is corporate earnings are absolutely phenomenal. And that's what matters when you look at prices in terms of equities. Corporate earnings have never been better, so I, you got to dismiss Peter's All argument. All right, let, let's move on. Peter had been uh, talking about silver, uh, of course, at the highest level in about 31 years, up 20% this month alone. Beeksy's at the chart center taking us through the silver trade, but first, he could